Hey guys, just a quick vlog. So how many hours a day should you spend learning to code? This depends largely on where you are in the process. If you're first starting out, you're totally new to code, then you should limit it to maybe 30 minutes to 45 minutes a day. So why limit it? Because you don't want to over overflow your brain with all this new knowledge, all this new way of thinking. When you're learning to code, by the way, especially when you get into programming, whether it be JavaScript or Python or C Sharp or not Ruby, whenever you start getting into code for the first time, you're literally gonna be rewiring your brain physically. You're gonna literally be changing the physical structure of your brain over time because you're gonna be learning to think and process information in a totally different way. And this is exciting because whenever you can expose your mind or your body to new, new ways, new things, the stronger your body gets. Kind of like a, a woven fabric. Fabrics are strong when they're cross-pattern woven in, in a different way. So the more you expose yourself to different ways of thinking, different styles of thinking, you're just gonna be stronger. Just like when you exercise, if you include different types of exercise in your routine, it's much better for your body. Your body's gonna become much stronger, much more resilient, much more quickly. If you do the same thing over and over again, not so good. As you progress, as your brain begins to rewire itself, as you start developing your nerd skills, I call it the nerd eyes, the ability to read code like you would read your first language. For me, that's English. Once you get there, where you can read code like you can read English, if you're English, or like you can read, uh, I don't know, whatever, Cantonese, like you're Chinese, whatever, you get the idea. Once you get to the point where code becomes easy to read, like right now, I'll look at any type of code, any language just about, any modern language, especially if it's object-oriented, which is many, many other languages, whether it be Swift, Ruby, Python, Java, JavaScript, PHP, C sharp, VB.net, et cetera, et cetera. I can read that code like I read English now. Even if, I, even if I haven't touched that code in years, even if I look at a new language like Dart, Dart's a relatively new language. I never programmed anything real in Dart. I just looked at some of the code and I went, oh yeah, 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 I understand, I understand. Because once you develop those programmers' nerd eyes, it becomes easier and easier, which means as you progress, as you learn more and more and more, your ability to absorb knowledge will become easier and easier because your brain is starting to adapt for that type of knowledge. So when you first start out, start out slow, 30 minutes a day, 45 minutes a day, whatever it is, until the point where you're starting to get a little bit, okay, I've had enough, walk away. My Studio Web Learning SaaS, Software as a Service, which is designed specifically to teach code, is built around that. So it remembers where you were. So if you log in uh, on day 10, you're on the CSS and you're doing uh, CSS pseudo rules, pseudo classes. So you're on lesson uh, 28, question four, and you've done your quizzing, you've done your quiz, you've watched the video. You just, you say, okay, I've done, I've done enough today. You walk away, next day you log in, you click on the CSS course, it takes you right where you were. It remembers so that you don't have to go digging back, etc. Now, it's so important that you limit yourself, especially in the first, uh, when you first get into coding, but it's actually built into my system. Again, as you progress, as you become more advanced, what you do then is then you start being able to take in more and more information. One important point I wanna state is that you should leave your daily learning session in coding wanting more, not exhausted. You want to leave and go, oh, this is cool. And then, okay, I've done it. I've done my 30 minutes. I've done my 40 minutes. I've done my hour if you progress. And that's it. You leave. You leave wanting more. Why do you want to do that? Because you want to start creating an association that's positive, that's fun with coding. And soon enough, your brain will start making those associations. And as you write more and more code and you leave coding in a fun state of mind, interested in it, then your brain's gonna keep making those connections. And what happens when you see code, you're gonna have fun. You see code, you're gonna have fun. The more fun you have writing code, the easier it gets. 
the more code you're going to write, the better your code is going to be, the more money ultimately you're going to make as a developer, whether you go work for somebody or you become a freelancer or you start building your own projects. This principle, by the way, of not overdoing it when you are learning something or training, it goes way beyond coding, by the way. It's known in psychology, the science shows the brain can only absorb so much information. The body's like that too. So let's say you want to get in shape, you're going to the gym. Same thing. You go to the gym and you don't kill yourself at the gym. You don't want to come out of the gym exhausted, Ugh, where then you're, you don't want to go back because it's just too much work. You want to go there, do a light workout, you get a light sweat, you know, so light pressure on the muscles, and you leave, get, get out, get out, feeling good. This way you want to go back to the gym. It's not a chore to go to the gym. Same thing with learning to code. You want to make it light and easy, start off small, when you're first starting out the first few weeks of learning how to code, you're going to put less time than you will be able to put in maybe two or three months into it when you're actually writing code and you're getting things done where you're going to just absorb much more quickly. Since I'm like 269 years old and I've been coding since the 1994, uh, 1894, excuse me, um, for me to learn a new language or to learn a new framework is trivial. It's, it's just because of exposure. It's just because I've been doing it for so long. I've been exposed to all these different languages. And I followed my principles, what I just laid out here. It's fun for me to learn something new. In fact, I have to stop myself from wanting to dig into this tech or that tech. People ask me, can you do a course on this language or that language or this language? And trust me, I love to. I, it's so much fun for me to learn something new. But it's just a time constraint for me at this point. You know, at some point in your career as a developer, you have to decide if you're going to be a developer or if you're going to get into architecture or you're going to get into management, et cetera. You can't, it's hard to do both because, for example, when I'm writing code, you're in a certain mindset. And then when I'm uh, planning out uh, marketing, it's a different mindset. When I'm negotiating contracts with, uh, with clients, different mindset. You get the idea. So for me to go from coder to architect to marketer to uh, uh, strategic planner for the business, it's, it's a different mindset and it's like, it's like switching gears, it's, it's not cool. So for, at some point in time, you're gonna make a decision. I'm gonna be a coder, you're gonna be a hot shot coder. I have some friends who did this, made a ton of money and they loved their career. Other people, they did coding for a few years, five, 10 years, whatever it was and then they went into architecture, and some went into management, et cetera, et cetera. But anyway, that's another vlog. Um, I'll leave you with this. At first, start light. Number two, make sure you leave your coding session for that day have, in a good mood, having fun, so you associate good feelings with coding. Number three, uh, if it's not already clear, not understanding how to code, understanding software development is a superpower. It really is a superpower. It transformed my life. It gave me tremendous, tremendous uh, flexibility in my career over the decades. And uh, I, can't, I can't overstate, it's not possible to overstate how important it is to learn how to code just for the brain training. All right, I hope you found this useful. This doesn't apply to Ruby because you know you don't want to, I'm just kidding about Ruby. I have to add a Ruby joke because people are gonna start complaining if I don't add a Ruby joke. All right, that's it for today's video.